Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. Today I'm going to show how I make pizza dough for both wood and gas fired pizza ovens. And I'm going to unbox the uni stack and proof my dough in it. Let's do it. So the first thing I put into the bowl to measure up is the flour. I use 500 grams of Blue Capoto Pizzeria. It's milled at zero zero, so that means it's the finest mill for flour. I'm going to be putting this flour now into the bowl and it's 500 grams. Five hundred grams of soft green pizza flour. Because I'm using a bread maker, I put the flour straight into the bread maker. Make sure the dough hook is in there first. I'm going to now add the other ingredients. I use the same bowl that I used for the flour, which is now in the bread maker bowl. That's because I'm making a sixty percent hydration dough. So I'm using 300 grams of water, but I don't put the 300 grams straight into the bowl. I put in 150 grams first of the 300 grams of water. So I'm gonna add some table salt now to that 150 grams of water. I add 9 grams of salt to the water and then stir that in so that it completely dissolves. I've always found I've got much better dough using dissolved salt so I'm going to move this now into that same bowl in the bread maker I'm going to create a well so it has a place to go because the next stage will be putting in my dried yeast which will be dissolved so I'm going to create a little well in here for my salt I normally put it in one side there and then my yeast goes like on this side here so they're both kept very separate for now so I'm going to put my water in that top area with the salt and I leave that and get on with dissolving my yeast. In the summertime I use about 0.5 grams of yeast and in the winter it could go up to two depending on how cold my house is. I'm going to add another 150 grams of water to the bowl. So you can do the yeast first if you want and the salt second. So that's entirely up to you. It doesn't make any difference because it goes into the well in your flour. I'm gonna use about 0.5 today because it is quite warm. It's 24 degrees inside right now and it's about 19 degrees outside. I'm just going to pour that amount of yeast in. It doesn't matter, I've got 0.6. I'm not gonna bother with changing that. It could be like 0.5 and a half. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm gonna put that in water and I've used now another 150 grams for the dried yeast. So I'm going to stir this in until it's completely dissolved. The temperature of the water is like room temperature. It's not too warm because I'm using a bread maker. The bread maker does increase the temperature of the dough. As long as it's warm enough for the yeast to dissolve and the salt to dissolve, it's not icy cold or anything like that. I'd say it's like tepid, just normal room temperature water. And that's dissolved pretty fast. And that's now ready for the bread maker in my well that I've made. I just push it away 
and put it on top there. Water will find a way around everything. Okay, so I'm going to put the yeast in there. And then I quickly get my spoon and give it a good stir. Get it all mixed together. Into the flour. Get it all off my spoon and it's ready to go in the bread maker. I've got lots of dough recipes. You can even make a sourdough starter in there. I'm going to pick 28, that's my pizza dough recipe. It's a 45 minute program and I love it. I know it does a bit of resting in between, which is great. So I'm going to start it off. At this point, you can either knead by hand and have put it all in a bowl, knead by hand, or put it in your dough mixer, kitchen mixer with a dough hook. Personally, I've got my reasons why I don't like the dough hooks on mixers. The dough tends to rise up, to rise up the hook and not knead it. And also there's always like a layer, well definitely in mine anyway, of dough that's not been picked up by the dough hook. So the bread maker is my favourite because it's, it's designed to knead dough and therefore for me it's far more reliable and consistent as a dough maker because that's what it's been designed to do is to knead dough. And here it is, the dough is done. The next step is to do a 24 hour room proof and I'm going to be using the uni stack to do that. I've just bought it so let's quickly unbox it. You can pop them one on top of the other for storage which is great for me because I don't have much room in my fridge and putting them up in this vertical position like this on top of each other will save me space. It comes with one bamboo lid with a silicon seal and the other glass containers fit snugly into each other. They don't have lids, so the base of the glass container above is the lid of the lower container. I've now added the dough balls into the bowls and they're about 180 grams each. These are now going to be room proofed for 24 hours. 24 hours later. And they've proofed up nicely. They filled the bowl, but not too much, so they're popping out the top. They're just right, just the perfect size for proofing my dough. All nice and fresh, ready to be balled up. So these have now had a 24 hour proof in the stack. I'm just gonna take the lid off. They've really, ooh. that stretch there and the one beneath filled these up nicely actually not too much look there's the bit that I pulled off the same there I moved that bottom one as well risen really well just with that small amount of dried yeast in a room temperature of it's now 21 degrees so what I'm going to do is Pull them up, give them a rest for 30 minutes. Just to go over the stack as well, I think it looks great. I think they're perfect, they're really good. Exactly what I needed. I, I don't have to just use them for dough, I can use them for putting ingredients in as well. So I am happy to have had this, I'm glad I bought it. It's gonna come in very useful for me because I do a lot of proofing and it's just really handy to go one on top of the other as well.
So sometimes I don't use all my dough. So here I am going to freeze two of the dough balls. Stick the dough in a freezer bag and store them in the freezer until you need them, which is what I do a lot of the time. It's a little freezer bag, tied up airtight, and they're ready to go in the freezer. I don't ever put them in containers in the freezer. I just don't have room for that. Freezer bags I've been using for years and they work really well. I just put them in the freezer as they are. And then when I'm ready to take them out, I leave them in the bag and I leave them there to defrost for a few hours. They're ready to be balled up. I just have to warm them up to room temperature before I then ball them up again. And that's it. That's my dough making process. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.